What is up, cutie gang? We back, yes, we back for a new episode of Artifacts, the cool stories behind the scenes of your favorite studio, Quantic Dream. My name is still Guérin Fall, and I still don't know what to do with my hands, so let's dive in. And today's item is... Ta-da! Woo! A binder with papers in it. You might be wondering why would this binder and those papers be so important to create a video game? And even if you're not asking yourself the question currently, I'm still gonna answer it because that's who I am and that's my job. As you must know, the making of a game like Beyond Two Souls requires many, many, many skills. We're talking great technologies, tremendous coding, building the storylines, the architecture, the 3D graphics of the game, using super cameras of the mocap studio to shoot cinematic scenes with some of the best actors in the world. But we also need this. I know it looks a little bit old school, but Beyond Two Souls wouldn't be Beyond Two Souls without this. Yes, I'm talking about the score. This binder is the unique version of Beyond Two Souls' original score. Let me prove it to you by singing it live. Definitely believable. This score was written initially by the late Norman Corbett and was completed by Lorne Balfin, a Scottish composer who also worked on the soundtrack of a few films or series you might know, like the Mission Impossible franchise or The Crown, you know. And he did work we can call a good job because he was nominated not for one, but two BAFTA awards. Those are the UK version of the Oscars, by the way. He was nominated with the producer of his studio, Hans Zimmer. Someone you might also know, as he might be maybe the greatest music composer of all time. Because as always, Quantic Dream wants to work with the best and with me. That's why this is a very special item for what it represents and also because it's a unique artifact signed by Lorne Balfour himself. It was a gift for our very own David Cage. That's it for today, cutie gang. Next time, I will answer the other question you might be asking yourself. What exactly is the background? Is it foam? Is it real grass? Or do I live in a forest? See you next time, cutie gang.